Hey everyone, it's Diana and today's video is going to be super exciting. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to be doing my own lashes. Uh, not the way a professional would do them. <laughs> Probably a amateur previous makeup artist for eight years would do it. <laughs> and so I picked up this DIY Ardell lash extension kit. I wouldn't call it extensions, I would just say individual lashes that stay on for more than a day. Yeah, so I got this at my local drugstore, London Drugs. Uh, I bought it for $12.99 Canadian. And I tried finding this earlier online, but of course because it's so popular, it was all sold out. So I'm super excited to try this and give you guys some tips and tricks on how to apply it. So in the kit, it comes with lashes, the glue, glue remover, and tweezers. I'm not gonna use these tweezers. I'll show you why in a second. And they come in, they're all black. I was hoping to get like a medium black just because my lashes are brown and you'll be able to see my brown lashes underneath. Like if I were to look up or anything, but it's not that big of a deal. So it comes with short black lashes and just to be thorough, it claims that it will last up to two weeks. So I will do an update. So if you go onto the back, it tells you to use uh, tweezers and to dump a little bit of the glue onto foil. I don't have foil, I totally ran out of it, but I do have my metal spatula that I'll just scoop up the glue. I'm assuming they want it on something metal just so that it doesn't cure and dry while you're waiting to use it, like as you're applying it. So I'm just clipping my hair out of the way. So I've just clipped my hair in with the clips. Uh, if you watched my dollar store haul, that's where I got them from. I've been using them like every day. I'm gonna just be using a little mirror here. So I'm gonna be kind of looking down. Before I zoom you guys in, you definitely wanna make sure that your eyelids are completely washed and clean. You definitely don't uh, want any makeup on them. This is supposed to last for two weeks. So whatever you have on your eyes, underneath that glue, it's gonna stay on there for two weeks. So you definitely want a clean face. Uh, I have makeup on, I just left my eyelids all clear. Okay, I'm gonna do one eye at a time show you so just to show you guys why I don't use the tweezers that come with the packaging as you can see there it's easier for me to put it on if I use these slanted tweezers I like to grab the edges of the individual lash and it just kind of gives me a lot more um, structure it's not flimsy and I can see exactly where I need to put it on my eye Well, great. One just kind of fell off. So now I am switching between the longs and the mediums. They're going to look like pretty natural. I'm going to try and build them up. But I don't really have hopes for that with these lashes here. Or I should say with the amount of lashes that I have here. My hand is cramping up. I can't like squeeze. Ah. I really needed to get close up. I've been out of practice of putting these on. Yeah, so I can see this kind of being a struggle for people who've never done individual lashes themselves before. So this is how much I've used up. I'm just going through the shorts to kind of go in the inner corner and fill in some empty spots. I ended up having to go into my own pack of red cherry individual lashes. And what I'm doing is cutting off the little knots at the end just to kind of fill out the look. Far away, it's gonna look great. We'll see what it looks like up close in a bit. <laughs> that was quite an ordeal. I would say if I had no idea what I was doing, that would have taken me so much longer. So I do think that they look decent. Do I think that they're gonna stay? I think some of these are being held on by miracle. I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, just, you know, 
hard to explain. I'm gonna pin my hair back because I liked how it looked. I really like how they look from far away. They just look like false lashes. Um, that I probably could have put on a lot faster if I just put on a strip. <laughs> Regardless, this is about it staying on longer than a day. I do think there's like a total learning curve. I'm gonna try it one more time just because when you read the instructions it says to place it directly on the lash and now that I kind of know the consistency of the glue and like how hard it was like if it accidentally stuck onto another lash it would just rip it off for my look that i wanted to do i wanted it longer in the center as opposed to like the more cat eye look um just because i have folded eyelids here and the miko eyes look small and when i do longer lashes at the end it just emphasizes that and i feel like yeah you just notice the droopiness whereas if you do it longest in the center and then shorter and shorter on the outside. It opens your eyes, makes them more rounder and also covers up the fold <laughs> for me personally. I did find that having a smaller mirror, there you see, that's my setup there, so that you can be able to like look closely at your lashes is really great. Anything that you magnify that would have been better. So if you do want to do it the way I did it, which is like longest in the center, I recommend putting one on each side like where you want it to be the longest. So like look in the mirror and be like, okay, I want it there and there. Work your way <laughs> from out in and don't focus on one eye at a time because you're gonna run out of lashes. You're gonna end up putting too much on one eye and then not enough. So if you're gonna do it that way, make sure you have enough lashes to last you for both eyes. And you definitely wanna make sure that you're putting them straight onto your eyelashes because I build them up so much. I definitely hit my eyelid on some of these and I do not expect those to stay on and I don't fall to the product on that. That's just me being like more, more, more while I'm waiting for my battery to draw. <laughs> I have that too much gene, as Jenna Marbles likes to say. The main reason I wanted to try these was um, to see if it's like a good alternative. Going to get your lashes done professionally can be expensive and in, in this economy. <laughs> During these times, I highly recommend saving your money as much as you can. That being said, they will look nothing like how a professional will do it. So if you have the means and you really want that look, Go for it. Um, I personally just want to try them out, see how they work. Yeah, so I'm super excited to see how they last. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna do a glasses test and see if they hit my glasses if they're too long. If I made a mistake putting too many longs. It's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, they're not too long. I do love the look of lashes like so much. I'm like in the back of my heart being like, please work, please, please, please. I really hope you do work. <laughs> hey everyone, it's editing Diana here. Yes, I have brown hair now. I had gotten my hair done the day after I had did the whole lash application. I filmed a little update, but the audio was really bad. So. Here I am letting you guys know what happened with the first lash application and basically <laughs> they uh, all fell off within a few hours. So don't do what I did in terms of applying lashes upon lashes to make them look thicker. I had natural looking ones so my lashes would have looked natural but if you want a more dramatic look you should buy the individual lashes that are like marketed as thicker and they look thicker. Those are the ones that I used on the second round and I ended up using way less lashes and they lasted a lot longer. I had them on for about a full week I, I believe and the only reason I took them out was because I was missing, <laughs> I missed rubbing my eyes. So there's that and then yeah because I got my hair done you'll see me kind of switch from blonde hair to brown hair to blonde hair. <laughs> The second application where I used the double individual lashes or doubles, they were just more fluffier I guess you can say. I wanted to test them out more thoroughly so they did feel a lot sturdier when they were on and then I went ahead and did a photo shoot with my friend to help her practice with her camera and it was windy and wore them for quite a while and only one fell off. They do work, it's just you can't stack them on like I normally would with regular lash glue and individual lashes. But um, I'll let my past self <laughs> finish off of this video. I 
highly recommend doing these a when you have time do not brush this at all in fact if you are not good at putting any types of lashes on do not do it when you are in a rush <laughs> even for myself it's like they know i'm in a rush and they just like will not set properly make sure your eyes are not watering the glue will never dry that goes for this and just regular lash glue yeah i could have done this last night but i knew i was going to go to sleep and you want to give time for the glue to cure if you've ever gotten lash extensions done they tell you not to wet your eyes for 24 hours i would do the same for this do not get them wet so i recommend doing it in the morning of the next day or as much time as you can give before you go to bed so you definitely want to start from the outside and work your way in once you've placed your markers of how you'd like your lashes to look if you want them longer in the center longer on the outside um i did find that because i worked my way kind of out this way it was hard for me to see where i was going uh, to put on this way, like the lashes just kind of kept blocking the view. So definitely recommend working your way out to in. So I do wish that they had um, more of the small ones. If you're looking for like that minimal look, I think this will definitely be enough. You just want to make sure you work from the out side to the inside of your eye because there are not a lot of smalls and the smalls I highly suggest using on the inner corner of course. If it's claiming that it's eyelash extensions then I totally believe that it should work just like regular lash extensions that you'd get from a professional. Oh I need to do a close up. Okay so here's a close up of my eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned some tips and tricks for applying individual lashes. Again, those tips can be applied with just using regular lash glue if you just wanted to have some individual lashes on for the night. If you like this video, I'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and subscribing if you want to see more videos from me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I thought it was gonna be cute. It's like a meme and I thought it was a meme.